All right, welcome back, folks. Uh, when we last left off, I had a little glitch with uh, me pushing the wrong button, but we are back. Um, there we go. We're back in the video, or back in the game, and when we last left off, we we're about to assault the rest of the base. We're going to put him on Overwatch, just in case there's anything behind this door, which I don't think there is. Um. We did have a few injuries, or we're definitely going to have a few in injuries. Move, move, move. But yeah, th I didn't think there was anything in this room. Uh, but this is where the alien base is going to get real interesting. Me and let's get everybody up here. I'll are you? There. Where are you standing? You look like. Oh, you guys are. Yeah, it's one up. Uh, what is it? H? No, F. T. T. That's the zoom in. There we go. So apparently, you guys decided to run up this side of the thing. So let's move you up to the door. Moving. Now, the good news is. If we pile up everybody at this door, on target location. they, um, we can do a, like, a narrow attack if they try to get through. Uh, let's go ahead and put our sniper up there. He's Running. not going to run through the door just yet. And we're going to end the turn without pushing the end video button like I did last time. Something. Okay, and we're going to put the sniper into overwatch, and then open the door. Alrighty, I don't see any, any movement, but I also cannot move because I have the sniper there. Crap. I did not think that through. And turn. <laughs> So now we have to move the sniper, which I'm loath to do. Heading oh, out. Moving there. Just got hot in here. And then we're going to move him aye, aye. all the way back. And we are going to try to take everyone out. Can you shoot? No, but you can run a gun. And we might put you in Overwatch. Can you shoot? Actually, we might put you into Overwatch too, so let's run a gun. Set him up, knock him down. Roger that. Because if we can't take out the other one, let's move you Orders here. Orders understood. You definitely can kill that one. It is dead. And let's move you. That's two. affirmative. This is not gonna kill it. Not gonna kill it. Alright, so who's going to die? Guess we're going to let you die. Threat. 
no one's gonna die because that thing was stupid. Interesting. <laughs> of course you would miss. I missed Why the not? target. Um you're gonna go into Overwatch. You are going to kill it. Bye bye. You are going to go into Overwatch. 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 This is where it's gonna get difficult. Can you kill it? No, you can't. Why would you kill it? I'll get him next time. Man, you guys suck at Overwatch. What the hell was that? Oh, he just died. <laughs> you guys suck. They got me moving around the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of your comrades is down. That's fine. Uh... This one is no round finished. You, I really need to move him. Uh, how f close can you get? You really can't get much closer. Too bad you don't have flush, but 45 is not bad. Are uh, you? We really need to find the other one. Aye, aye, Commander. Let's move you. Got it. There. We're gonna put you into Overwatch. The actual with a sniper. Just gonna stay there. You're gonna reload. Back online. So we lost our first person. You have to reload. Ready to engage. You need to go into Overwatch. But we're going to put you up higher at some point. You need to reload. Reloaded. And you need to reload. Let's, let's go ahead and dash you. On the move. We need to find that other thin man and take Shut it out. Up. Listen. But I hear no more chrysalids in the background, so we're we're kind of good there. Uh, let's. <laughs> we're gonna run up there, and we're going to get a line from Shen, who's going to basically berate me for doing something. Position confirmata. Is this what the aliens do for fun? At least they're not playing computer games. <laughs> Funny thing is, in the PlayStation version and the Xbox version, he'll actually say video games. Uh, All an ass. Move you up there. Move you to the side. Put you in Overwatch. We'll move you here and now. do the same thing. I gotta find out where that thin man is. Let's move you there. Because I don't want to trigger the alien that we haven't seen yet. Over there. Let's keep you there. Can you run up there yet? Oh, you can. Position. And 
Let's put you there. That's affirmative. And see if we can spot that thin man somewhere. We're gonna leave you Solid down copy, Commander. near the ground. I don't want to go up that way yet. Let's go here. Because we are going to put the sniper right, up there. But oh, I'm so loath to do it. It just got hot yes. in here. It almost looks like a larger version of the sectoid. But something is different. What is that energy? That alien is clearly different from the others. It's wielding a power unlike anything we've previously encountered. Alright, so that's the alien that we encountered in the, um... In the intro. Or in the, uh, tutorial. We need to weaken it so we can capture it. But the problem is, he is a pain in the, the keister. Can you shoot him? 10%? Yeah, no, didn't think so. Incredible. That alien seems to have taken control of that soldier somehow. Yeah, he did. All of the advances we've made so far, they would be useless against this type of power. Alright. Shoot. So... Let's... Let's go here. Because we might lose him. Uh, we might lose my sniper too. 83? Oh, that would kill him. We don't want him to die. So we are going to put my sniper in danger more. Let's move him there. And they're on the move. Shoot him. One crap. They're shifting their attack. Don't run away. Headed there now. Mmm. Moving on target location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! There you are! We've been looking for you. Wait, who can you see? up to two damage. Might as well. Rendering X-ray immobile. And we're going to get closer and closer. And you. That's affirmative. Hi. I don't remember how long the um, effect lasts. Moving out. But he's going to kill my dude. The X-ray neutralized. Yeah. So 
so we are going to move Running. farther. to get close. And we're going to switch to the laser. Uh, you know what? This is the only time I'm going to save Scum because we need to capture him. So we're going to save here because if he gets killed by this laser pistol pistol i am going to be so upset feels like we're finally turning the tide now that we've captured their device nope the aliens are running out of secrets it's imperative that we did get an achievement as as called off now my planet we this device we should probably be expecting the aliens to pursue us more aggressively I doubt losing it was part of their plan. But we're going to go back and we're going to try to capture it just instead. Uh, put my uh, person in danger. None of this is... None of that's happening. Come on. Let me through. Remember. This is the only time we are safe scumming. Uh... Is this load? I'm loading, right? Yes, loading. Because we are capturing that alien. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Uh, where are we? There we are. So, crap. I guess we're going to go into Overwatch at the moment. Reload. Perfect. Perfect. Don't you kill it. You gotta be kidding me. Finally turning the tide. Now that we've captured their device. Secret. That we begin the research no! as as possible. Now that we've kept No. No. Oh, this is funny. This is funny. Remember. Oh. Alright, so what we're gonna do instead of she's just going to panic and shoot at it, I guess. That's what we're just gonna end the turn. Oh, oh, that time it failed. That time it failed. That's, that's, that's funny. This is the only time we're safe scumming this whole time. Alright, right, so you... Let's save again here. Um... Because we are we are capturing him. I don't care. We are capturing him. Sixty percent chance of critical. Can we go over here and make him less chance of critically? Yes, ten percent chance. That will work. That will work. So you are gonna go up and capture him then. I am moving. Alright, here we go. I trust you affected this thing. Target. Right, of course. Moving. Yes. No, that would that would happen, wouldn't it? Ten four. Head now. That would be what would happen. I mean no. I'm only trying to capture this alien so bad. I trust you are this thing. Target 
target stunned. Feels like we're finally turning the tide. Now that we've captured their device, the aliens are running out of secrets. It's imperative that we begin the research as soon as possible. Now that we've captured this device, we should probably be expecting the aliens to pursue us more aggressively. I doubt losing it was part of their plan. Alright. So I'm sorry I saved Scum so much on that video, but we are capturing that. We had to. I, I, I do not leave it to chance to capture it any other time. This is the best time to capture it. Um, I'm so glad that we uh, we are not in Iron Man mode. Otherwise, that would have been impossible. But, oh my god, it shouldn't have been so hard to capture that thing. A lot. Now we're going to see how everything plays out. Roger that, Voodoo 3-1. See you inside. Central out. Something wrong, Doctor? Don't you think a victory celebration is a bit premature at this juncture? We just neutralized their central command. We've got no other alerts on the entire system. And we took out their leader. In my book, that's a win, Doctor. Nothing else, it's morale boost. We only have what, one KIA? to see that I'm not the only one who understands this war isn't over yet. The existence of this artifact, which we believe to be a communication device of some kind, begs the question. If the sectoid commander was the alien leader, then who or what was it communicating with? I believe this is indeed the same creature we encountered when we made first contact with the aliens. As we have observed, it is somehow capable of using its mind as a weapon. If we were to study this specimen's brain tissue, perhaps we might be able to adapt this ability for our own purposes. Hmm. Again, I apologize for the saves coming, but we were capturing that alien. By God, we were capturing that alien. Alright, so everybody's wounded. Or killed. Yeah, we did. We did lose the sniper finally because uh, of the uh, mind control. Uh, you're going to take covering fire. I didn't realize how low these uh, these people actually were. You are definitely taking lightning reflexes. And we excellent work, Commander. Capturing the alien subjects alive allows for a much wider range of experimentation versus the expired specimens. Alien entertainment. We got a lot of stuff we can sell. Uh, Panic increased or decreased be watching. by two. So what we just did is we just saved everybody's bacon from leaving... Um, XCOM. So Australia was going to leave and Brazil was going to leave. Now they're not. And we're. There's no what's our way research? the aliens could have anticipated this outcome. We've crippled their entire support network. Of course, this isn't the end. We have no choice now but to take it further. We have to find their remaining ships and finish what they started. Alright, we got one day before our armor is done. Do we have anything else we can do? No. But we're about to get the council report, so let's go ahead and just do that real quick. Incoming transmission. Yes, praise me, praise me. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. 
Your recent results were beyond our expectations. And that is not a statement this council makes lightly. Thank you. All right, so we got three scientists and six engineers. We definitely need those engineers. Um, we need to get more satellites going. We will be in touch, Commander. What facilities do we have? Mm. We need to do... Um, we need to put a workshop in. As well as, we need to start building uh, thermo generators, and we need a satellite nexus, which is, we're definitely putting that on right now. How many, do we have any satellites? Satellite uplink facilities at maximum No, we capacity. don't. Additional uplink required. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need ten satellites. How much is that going to cost me? Oh, we also need to start, uh, we need to, I need to turn my, uh, volume, or, uh, my vibration off on my phone. Uh, we also need to build the firestorms. Uh, we are, n we need $500 to do that. Let's build three for now. And that clears us out. Yeah, that clears us out of money. But we need to build that. Alright, so we're going to get the armor real quick. And then we're going to interrogate and uh, autopsy. Which happens instantaneous anyway, so we're, we will be good. Yes, assign a new project. We've succeeded in creating an advanced suit of body armor based on the alien alloys recovered from the field. These are the same materials used extensively by aliens in the hull plating and internal structure of their craft. As we've already seen, the UFOs are capable of sustaining heavy impacts with their minor structural damage, which inspired our research into personal armor plating of the same design. However, the downside to this exotic material is that we currently have no means of replicating it on Earth. With a limited pool of resources available for future projects, we'll need to manage our use of these alloys carefully. The engineering team is waiting orders to begin fabrication process. Once completed, we can see how this carapace armor fa uh, fares on the battlefield. Which we will not be able to put into um, circulation yet. Let's... That takes five days. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. It has the same... Um, motions as a normal sectoid. Alright, this specimen has a uniquely defined cellular structure within its brain augmented by a series of advanced cybernetic implants that must have been integrated shortly after its birth. Due to the unusual abilities exhibited by this captive in the field, we've had to be particularly cautious during the interrogation process. Evidence of a telekinetic power unlike anything previously recorded in known science has left some members of the research team unwilling to approach the subject. We were met with limited success in retrieving new information directly from the captive. Although we have come to understand how the captive was able to interact with the mysterious device we found within the alien base. We've also had time to further, anal uh, further an analyze, further ana analyze the modules implanted in the subject's body, which will likely lead to a number of unexpected advances. Uh, so we got a psionics lab available for constructions and psionic research credit earned. So basically what that means is that we can actually have so, um, soldiers with psychic abilities. Which we are definitely going to uh, do. Let's go ahead and autopsy it. This is an extremely dangerous species, Commander. Although not physically intimidating, 
The psionic power that this creature wields is perhaps the greatest threat we've encountered so far. Alright, after an extensive analysis of this specimen's brain tissue, we've discovered some unusual activity in the synaptic connection that may be the source of the abilities our troopers encountered in the field. Although somewhat similar in physical appearance to the sectoid we previously identified, this commander variant ha has an easily differentiated internal composition. We've theorized that these enhanced electrical synapses capable of transmitting nerve impulses at nearly three times the normal rate are the product of a careful genetic manipulation. If our theory holds true, that means the aliens are capable of modifying even the most complex tissue at a genetic level. In regards to our own re uh, genetic research, I am hopeful that we can use the sectoid commander's enhanced synaptic connection to improve the capabilities of our own soldiers, perhaps in a way that would redirect the psionic powers utilized by the aliens back unto themselves. So now we have normal feedback in the gene lab. And let's autopsy the drone. This unit appears to be a drone, which is similar to the military drones we are familiar with. This particular example seems to have the ability to repair damaged equipment. Dr. Shen and I believe it should be possible to capture and repurpose these for our own use in the field. We can't actually re uh, capture them. Uh, but we will get them for like the uh, mission and let's go ahead and dang we got a lot of stuff to uh... let's go ahead and do the skeleton suit uh, can we build anything no that's 17 dang. Uh, nothing in there all right, so what we're going to do is, how many soldiers do we have left? I need to technically get more soldiers. And I think I will do that maybe next video if I have the funds. Uh, we really need to get um, Satellite satellites facilities at up in the air. Because if we have satellites over all of the, um, all over the whole world, we will not have any alien abductions going on, uh, which will mean that there's less panic building. What, so it will make the game slightly easier. But uh, again, uh, sorry for the safe coming, but I really, really wanted to uh, capture that alien alive, even though I had so much difficult doing it. So we're going to end the video there. My name is Skits, uh, also known as Justin. Uh, this is Real Appeal Videos. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and if you want to see the next video, hit that bell, which is the notification button, and we will see you next time. And until then, until then, later, folks.